Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Gamar Jova. Okay, I think that means hello in Georgian. I hope that is. That's what Luca told me. Right? So, if it's not, please leave it in the comments below. <laughs> right? Gamar Jova? Yes, Gamar Jova, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we're going to go over the Georgian grip system. There's a lot of stuff out there, one-off attacks from the Georgian grip. I did a Harai Makagomi video, but it really is nice to kind of have a overarching sort of system going into this attacks from this one specific position. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you today, right? So now, generally speaking, right versus right, lapel sleeve, lapel sleeve, this is dead 50-50, I have a little bit of an advantage, and now I want to sort of do my judo from here. Okay, I go backwards here, I attack that leg, I can attack this other leg here, okay? I can bring his head down, right? I can go for a turn throw, I can go for a soto, right? I can go to side, to my weak side, I can fake forward, inside trip, there's lots of different options for me to do judo here, right? Uh, similarly to that, from the Georgian grip, you also want to have a sort of a multi-pronged approach where you're attacking your opponent in many different directions. Right? You don't want to be a sort of a monodirectional, one-dimensional judo player, right? So, right side versus right side. I pulse this left hand on the lapel first, right? This is very classic right versus right gripping strategy. What I'm going to do now to expose this back shoulder, okay? Instead of going over the back, I want to go across the opposite shoulder for the Georgian grip. In order for me to expose that back to be able to get the Georgian grip, I'm going to go across collar, Okay, I'm gonna feed this lapel to my hand, I'm gonna snap down, and then I'm gonna go over and grab the belt. Okay, uh, I already showed a Harai Makikomi video from here, so you could go lapel, belt, and then you're gonna put a little bit of downward pressure to break his posture. When you feel him resisting upwards here, okay, that's when I release this, I turn my hips and I trap this tricep, throw my hips across, and throw him with a Harai Makikomi. Okay, uh, we already did that video, I'll link it somewhere, or you can just find it in the feed somewhere. Right? So that's sort of my first attack that I like to do uh, from that Georgian grip. Down, over, okay? Now commonly, he's very aware of this, so he's not giving me the reaction upwards, okay? If he goes upright, right, it gives me the option to throw my hips across, but if he remains low, okay, now from this position, I'm not gonna be able to go and go for a big Harai Makakomi here. So from this position, let's circle a little bit this way, circle this way. From this position, I'm gonna lock him in upper body wise here. I'm gonna sit to my hip, go put my instep on his inner thigh, and I'm gonna take him right over for sort of a hikomigaeshi, sumigaeshi situation. Okay? So now I have two attacks from that position. Going straight over the back, going for a big turn throw, harai. Okay, harai makikomi. Right? Snap, over. Now I can already think the sumi, and then I can go for the harai makikomi. Okay? Those are two options. Now, Luca grabs this tricep, prevents me from the ability to go for a turn throw, okay? Now this is a little bit dangerous. He's very aware of my sumigaishi as well, so he may post with his free hand, hop over, and then sort of pass my guard sort of position into the pinning position. Very, very dangerous, okay? So from this position, what I wanna do is I wanna look to bring his opposite leg toward me, and I want to hook Ouchigari for the inside trip, okay? If I'm capable of doing this, I may be able to just run him over with a simple Ouchigari, okay? That's definitely a possibility. Uh, maybe he has a very wide base, he has his toes pointed out, and he's very stable. Might be very difficult for me to finish that Ouchi as well. So I have to be sort of ready for the possibility that he lifts me, all right? Snap down, over. Maybe I go Sumi, maybe I go turn throw. He fishes for this tricep grip. A little bit of trouble. I go Ouchi, he goes around the waist and he lifts me. Right? I have to be able to connect my ankle, my foot, to the inside of his foot in order to remain in contact with his legs so he doesn't take me right over uh, onto my head. Right? That's very important, but it's sort of another video. Option three from this position, right? I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna reach to the opposite side of the lat here, okay? Once I can connect to the opposite side, I can elevate this arm and sort of run him in this circular direction and then take him right over, okay? I think there's a guy from Turkey or something like that. He's doing that pretty successfully now, right? Azerbaijan. Is it Azerbaijan? I think. What's the guy's name again? Frigo. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Snap down, Georgian, 
All right, my co, sue me, Ochi. Reaching over to the opposite lat, and then I can run it here. Or commonly, I've seen a, a lot of people lift and throw from here as well, right? I'm elevating here, and then dumping them over, right? So that's sort of like a very basic Georgian system. Uh, you know, obviously it goes a little bit deeper from there too, right? I've seen people, Georgian, connect, grab your own, own or your opponent's lapel, hook the leg and go uchimana from here. I've seen that. Uh, there's lots of different options from there too, but that's sort of the basics. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. You have anything you want to say? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You better subscribe. You better